Express your likes with vivid adjectives. Hello, English learners around the world. Welcome to our next lesson. Today, we are going to focus on a very important and interesting part of conversational English. Expressing our likes with adjectives. Understanding how to use adjectives to express your likes can truly elevate your English speaking and help you communicate more effectively and vibrantly. Let's start by understanding why adjectives are so essential. Adjectives are words that describe or modify another person or thing in a sentence. They make your sentences more detailed and interesting. For example, instead of saying, I like dogs, you can say, I like friendly dogs. Here, friendly is an adjective that helps express your preference more specifically. When we want to express our likes, we tend to use positive adjectives. Some common examples are amazing, delicious, beautiful, and exciting. Now, let's practice using these adjectives in sentences. 1. I like amazing books. Here, the adjective amazing shows your preference for books that astonish or surprise you. 2. I like delicious food. With delicious, you express that you like food that tastes very good. 3. I like beautiful sunsets. By using beautiful, you're saying that you like sunsets which are aesthetically pleasing. 4. I like exciting movies. Exciting tells us that you prefer movies that keep you thrilled and engaged. Now it's your turn. I'll give you a list of things and you should make sentences expressing your like for them using any positive adjective of your choice. Feel free to pause the video and take your time to practice. 1. Coffee 2. Music 3. Traveling 4. Friends For example, I like strong coffee, or I like calming music. Great job, everyone! Remember, using adjectives when expressing your likes helps make your English more detailed, interesting, and personal. Practice this regularly and you'll see a big difference in your English conversations. I hope you found this lesson helpful and fun. Keep practicing and stay tuned for our next video where we'll dive deeper into expressing dislikes. Happy learning and see you next time!